It is during the breakfast meeting with the members of the 4th Estate that the Azimio leaders used the opportunity to clarify most of controversial issues in the 2023 financial bill. Through the Azimio Economic Council, led by former Laikipia Governor Derito Murethi, the coalition looked at the bill close by close, demystifying assertions from the government on the bill. Azimio leader Raila Odinga insists that the bill must be withdrawn and President Ruto must apologize to Kenyans. We ask Ruto to humble himself, withdraw this bill of apology and seek forgiveness from Kenyans for the anxiety caused then and begin afresh. Key identified issues of the housing levy and the increase in tax on petroleum products, which they claim will increase the price of important products, including construction sector, thus hindering the very same agenda they claim is to their core. In one way or the other, they are talking of affordable housing. In another, they are taking away that by making the cost of construction very expensive. The coalition is further denying claims that the dropping of the bill will cripple the government, leading to a collapse. There has been an argument that if the bill is rejected, what will happen? No, nothing will happen. Life will continue. Because as we speak, there is a Finance Act 2022, which is in place. If you reject this one, it will continue to work. You, you, if you tax your economy beyond what is practical, then actually it collapses. According to Odinga, measures such as selling corruption loopholes and wastages will see the government save on revenue instead of increasing taxes. Corruption, Azimio claim, is the source of financial crisis within the government that despite removing subsidies, halting development projects and borrowing more than previous governments, the country still has no money. Stop no, non-essential government expenditures including the appointment of the chief administrative secretaries. Cut non-essential domestic, domestic and international travel. Freeze ministerial out-of-station allowances. As of September last year, the country's debt was 8.701 trillion shillings. Domestic debt stood at 4.366 trillion and external debt at 4.33 trillion. As of March 2023, six months after Kenya Kwanzaa took over, Azimio claims the debt has increased to 9.39 trillion. Of this, foreign debts increased to 4.851 trillion, while domestic debts grew to 4.539 trillion. The national debt grew by 689 billion, less than six months of Ruto's leadership. And right now, they are trying to bring amendment in the parliament that we remove the parliamentary authority to sanction increase of debt. You cannot uh, extend the debt ceiling without the full involvement discussion of the of, of parliament. The issue of tax exemption on certain products was widely discussed the coalition claiming that Ruto is not being truthful to Kenyans. When you tax exempt things that were zero rated, once again, the effect is pushing the prices up of essential items such as medicine. A zero rated commodity is cheaper than an exempt commodity. What Ruto is doing is transferring many of those items from zero rating to exam. And what if the president fails to hit the advice? We have agreed the MPs on what to do. Vote against any tax rises. Should Ruto overrun the National Assembly, we will regroup and overrun him in the wider National Assembly of the whole people of Kenya. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.